Hello. Just thought I'd give you a quick update on my, um, see how my Book of Shadows is coming on. Uh, here we go. Well, first of all, I've made a, I've made a box for it. I'm spending all this time doing it. I don't want to get it damaged in any way. So I've made this, uh, yeah. Quite a nice box for it. A few bits and bobs in there. Yeah, just to keep it just to keep it looking good. And here it is. As I say, this is the uh, just an update video. Let you know how far I am on with it. There we go, a quick flip through. Uh, with gold leaf as well, that's recently added. There's a really nice effect there. Gareth Knight, History of White Magic. I would encourage anybody who's interested in anything like this to read this. It, it sums it up really nicely. It's quite definitive. Here we go, Common Symbols of Magic. Okay, first few pages there. Anything like this is always an ongoing, um, unfinished thing, really. Yeah. A few more bits and bobs to go in there. Yep, Zodiac symbolism uh, with the reference table. Eightfold calendar, the Gardnerian Wheel of the Year. It's turned out quite nicely. To the rest of the bits and bobs. That took ages. <laughs> Sigil of Ameth. Quite pleased with that, the way it's turned out. Okay, magic circles. Meditation circles. Casting a circle. Uh, different types. Maintaining closing circles. 13 ways of looking at a circle. Full explanation of the sigil of Amoth. I always think it's it's useless having something if you don't understand what it is and what it stands for. So, there we go. Full explanation there. Uh, magic squares, planetary squares. Um, sigil creation. I like to put everything in this book that I can actually use, use as a reference. It's not really... Um, a standard book of shadows. It's really a reference, a reference work. You see, I've got links between tarot and the tree of life. Um, in there. Good explanation. Oh, another page of writing. It goes on and on. Okay, a couple of Arabian squares there. Quite fun. Um, other arrangement of Norse runes, again with the uh, tarot rune associations. That's when you find everything seems to tie in. Okay, different kinds of alphabets there. Oh, more gold leaf. Very nice. That turned out really well. Explanation of the Eye of Horus, the breakdown, uh, the um, Hecat breakdown. There we go. Bits and bobs. Hebrew alphabet. Uh, angelic script. Here we go. Napoleon's Book of Fate. I thought it'd be uh, quite fun to put this in. It's quite a tasty uh, oraculum to use. But lots of reference charts that you have to well, obviously have to refer to once you've got your results. But they're all in there. Yeah, full reference work, really. Ah, there we are. Geomancy. It's a section that simply had to go in, really. Any book like this, any kind of book about divination has to have a, in my opinion, a section of um, geomancy. Okay, um, on to rituals now. Banishing ritual. The lesser ritual of the pentagram. There we go. All nicely written out. There's a full uh, diagram, diagramic 
if you like, explanation. If I, I don't even know if that's a word. Diagramic. I may have just invented a word there. There we go. Okay, I'll do pentagrams, explanations of, um, directions. Um, there we go. The all important concluding cross. Uh, ah, section to the end. Here we go. Lots of pages that I've got to fill in this yet, but here's something uh, that really interests me. It's them um, that crossover magic kind of church talisman thing. Some, something that they would say it's not magic, it's not a talisman, but it so is. It so is. Medallion of Saint Benedict. Very interesting. And there we go. There's the there's the medallion, the front and back. Nicely laid out in gold there, you can just see it. Yep. Full description of the medal, how it came to be, who used it, who used it first. Um, the Roman ritual of exorcism, here we go. Full Roman ritual there, just in the back of the book. It turned out really well, and all these little marks, all these little gold marks here. They're the actual physical um, signs of the cross, so they're, they're not hard to miss. They're not, uh, yeah. Uh, more about that. More to go in this section. And end page there. And that's about it, guys. Uh, not bad for about three years worth of work, is it? <laughs> right, see you next time with another update. Bye for now.